Hey, I'm Jimmy Dore and this is TYT 140, a lot of news in a little time. Despite facing a highly competitive political race, North Carolina Governor Kay Hagan is firmly embracing Obamacare. Yeah, specifically the Medicaid expansion part of Obamacare that was rejected by her state's Republican-led legislature. The expansion would have enrolled 500,000 previously uninsured state residents in Medicaid and it was paid for by the federal government. Hmm, providing health care for hundreds of thousands of people for free might not seem like a controversial stance, but in North Carolina, it's a Republican state where using government to help poor people is considered immoral. In voter suppression news, a federal appeals court Thursday temporarily stayed a ruling that would have required Kansas and Arizona residents to provide proof of citizenship before voting. Voting rights groups had argued that the added requirements provided an undue burden on voters, adding that, quote, they already have to live in Kansas and Arizona. Isn't that punishment enough? Luckily, the ruling will allow the two states to continue registering voters without requiring proof of citizenship. In her recent Vanity Fair article, Monica Lewinsky takes issue with feminist leaders who she says failed to defend her during her 1998 scandal involving President Clinton. In her article, Lewinsky likened her treatment by feminists to being passed around like gender politics cocktail food. And as a result, she says she doesn't consider herself a capital F feminist. Personally, I've always supported Monica Lewinsky, not only as a stalwart feminist, but also as chairman of the National Blowjob Association. And finally, two University of Georgia students eager to avoid taking final exams placed a Craigslist ad soliciting someone to run them over with a car. In the ad, the students emphasize they merely want to be injured enough to have a valid excuse to not take their finals. And you thought admission standards at Georgia were too low. The ad was quickly pulled from Craigslist, and now school officials are scrambling like mad to find someone else to give this year's valedictorian address. I'm Jimmy Dore. Follow us on Twitter at TYT140 and suggest stories at TYT hashtag fuck off. We'll see you next time.